All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the new custom notification, and this is included with KLWP, KWGT, and KLOCK. If I pull down my notification shade, you will see three notifications, and these are from the custom apps. This one here, this comes from KWGT, custom widget, and I'm going to show you how to set these up right here in a moment. Exiting out of that, the second one here, this comes from KLOCK, custom lock screen, exiting out of that. And then this third one you see right here comes from KOWP, Custom Live Wallpaper. Now, how do we set these things up? Well, first of all, I have all three of these apps. I have the battery optimization cut off. To show you that, I'm gonna go to my settings, device maintenance, I'm gonna head over to the battery settings. Then I'm gonna go to battery usage, top right hand corner, optimize battery usage. And if I scroll down on these apps, apps not optimized, I have all of my custom apps not optimized. You don't have to do this, but this is what I have decided to do so that I can quickly enable or disable the custom notifications. So let's go into KOWP. And right now my presets loaded, but if we come up here to the hamburger menu, let's go check out the settings. And you have these notification settings and these are going to be in KWGT and KLOCK as well. Notification visibility, you can hide it on the lock screen or show always. Yeah, I have mine set to show always, but I'm actually hiding all of my notifications on my lock screen, so it doesn't really matter there. But the notification mode, automatic, force, or disabled. Since I'm in KOWP, if I click disabled here, and I want you to look at these icons up here, one of these is getting ready to go away. Disabled, one of them went away. As a matter of fact, it was the one that was linked to KOWP. If I come back to notification mode and I set it to force, we now see a new icon popping up up here. We now have that notification back. Now you will receive a pop-up about optimizing your battery usage if you click on disabled, but since I have all three of these apps set to not optimized, I can quickly disable that notification right there. I don't find that this has a tremendous drain on my battery, so I just use force, but uh, some of you who are cautious of your battery, maybe the automatic mode would work better for you. But for now, I'm gonna leave it on force. And again, these settings are in the other two custom apps as well. So backing out of here, let's go to the hamburger menu again and let's go to notification editor. This takes you out of your custom live wallpaper editor and now you're in the notification editor. You can know what app you're in by looking up here, custom live wallpaper notification, whereas it would say widget or lock screen for the other two apps. Now since we're in our notification editor, if we come up here to the hamburger menu now and we go to load preset, if we look at what's installed, these are our notifications. I'm going to change this one from the battery to world clock just for the sake of this tutorial. Now if I scroll down on my notification shade, it's still showing the battery one. But if I save this and now I come down on my notifications, notice we have the world clock. A few more things about this. In our custom notification editor, if we go to notification, we can change the style from normal to small, and if I save this, what we're gonna see now is that notification is a little bit smaller. I prefer normal. For our icon, we can do a custom logo. That's that custom logo we see there. We can change this to temperature. Let me save that. Notice it changed up there. It's actually matching one of the other ones. You can select date, or you can select custom text. Let me show you custom text. I'm gonna type in some text real quick. I'm going to save this and notice it does change to that text that I have right there. Now it's kind of small and if you adjust the padding in the positive direction and we save this, it's going to make it even smaller. So yes, you can do some custom text, but what I like better too is the ability to use icon fonts. So I'm going to set the padding back to zero. I'm going to go to this icon text and I have an icon font that I know the letter A will correspond to an icon. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to save it. Notice the A is real big up here. I scroll down a little bit more and I change my font. I'm going to go on my device, I'm going to go to custom, I'm going to go to icons, and I'm going to pick this Gears by Craft Math V1. Tapping on that, watch this A up here when I save it. Now we have a gear. So yes, you can use your own icons up here in the notifications. Going back to the home screen, something else to show you now. Earlier in the video, I did tap on these and it actually opens up the app in which I made the notification in. For example, this light rain in Wilson, this is in KWGT, the notification editor. And also note at any point in time, we can go back to the main editor within that app. And in this case, I'm in KWGT, so I can load up a widget that I have on my device. 
So now notice I'm not in the notification editor, I'm now in the regular advanced editor for KWGT. Switching this back over to notification editor. We talked about the notifications and the icons, but you can trigger the touch. When you touch this notification, you can tell it what to do. And since all of these by default are set to open up the advanced editor, it will, to my knowledge, open up whatever app you use to make that particular notification. And just like all of your custom apps, we can use globals within this stuff. No animations for custom notifications, but this new add-on has a lot of similarities to the custom apps in terms of uh, your ability to really customize this to your liking. So if I'm in KWGT, this is the one with the weather. If I go to the settings in this app, go to notification mode, set this to disabled, back and out of here, let's save this, or actually it did go away. I, sometimes it may take a second or two for it to go away, but if I save this now, close out of here, come down on my notifications, that one is gone, the weather one. A way I can quickly get it back is to go back into KWGT. Just gonna load up a widget, but now I'm just gonna go into my settings. For the notification mode, I'm gonna set that back to force. And we should see that icon pop back up there. And now we do have that notification back. Now some things I did notice, the K-Lock one, this one right here. At first I couldn't get this to show up. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but if I go to the main editor in K-Lock, I had to have this cut on. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I had to cut the lock screen on to get that notification to show up. Or maybe I dreamt that, but whatever. Um, you don't have to have the lock screen on to show the custom lock screen notification up here in your notification shade. And heading back into the KOWP one, I'm in my notification editor, so if I go to load preset again, I can add back that battery info. That's the one that I want instead of the world clock. Saving that, going back to the home screen, we have all three up here. And there you have it, custom notification. We can get three notifications up here, one from each custom app. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.